the monumental awaits the above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. The monumental awaits the above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. So I haven't looked into it, um, so I don't know if it is the same voice actress as the, uh, the doll from Bloodborne. But you can definitely see, you can hear the Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch on your belongings, rest assured. Okay, we're probably only going for another ten. I gotta break these up somehow. So, cool thing. We can chuck all these in here. We can use upgrade materials while they're in storage. Like how DS2 does it. I don't know if that's how 1 and... I don't know if that's how 1 and 2 works. I've never chucked them in the uh, item box. Hmm. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, we don't really need the metal breakers. Crossbow sucks, I'm sorry. I want to use this later. I like my big shields, but for the meantime, who cares? Uh, we have no crossbow, so it's not worth it. All this armor we no longer need goes in here. All these rings, like rings are good. You always want to keep them on you just in case. You never end up using them, but whatever. Um, new moon, we don't need, it's too good. We're not going to suffer from bleeding. I'm not going to have magic to use for a bit. Unless. Hmm. So, Shard of Archstone. I didn't read this. This is what we found near the dragon. Um, Homeward Bone. The idol from Sekiro. Um, H Hunter's Mark, etc. Uh, we got some throwing knives. They do what you think. Brass Telescope. It weighs 0.5. It's not worth it. Ah, Jade Hair Ornament. Hmm. Wonder what we could do with that. Hmm. It's pretty obvious. When the scourge came, I... Abandoned my wife and daughter. Fled like I'd say a it's man. okay, man, but uh, yeah, it's kind of rough. I, to, I, I, I sympathize. Well, empathize I rather. I've dared venture outside these walls since. I wish I could do more, but I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. Yeah, sympathize implies I can, you know, relate to a situation. Empathize more means I can exp I can understand your emotions. I ha I don't have a daughter and a wife to abandon, so I can't say I've been that in the same position. cared for me during my first days in the Nexus. She says very little, but has a kind heart. She's just the age my young daughter would have been. The poor poor girl, trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. If only something could be done to help her. Yeah, enough about her, though. <laughs> so, um, I'll just say now, no, this isn't Lennon Grass and Cloanne from Dark Souls 2. That's not his daughter. We found his daughter. We found his wife. If only something could be done. So we have to stop you talking. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. Um, you'll understand what I mean. Also, that's, that's a saying everyone loves. That hairpin... That belongs to my daughter. Then she didn't make it after all. My dearest little baby, may she rest in peace. May I ask you a favor? Would you mind giving up that hairpin? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. Controller, don't you dare fuck me. Um, so this is one of those choices which is concrete. So you, if you say no, you don't get it. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I mustn't forget. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I'm a bit ashamed to say, but I found it one day, discarded on the main road. But it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. 
So other than being, you know, the morally right decision to make there, that's why you make that decision. Ring of Herculean Strength. Item Burden. Look at that. Fuck yeah. So, you want this on you for occasions like what I was talking about earlier, when you find armor you can't fucking carry, or a weapon you can't carry. Um, if it means you have to take the cling ring off, well, that's fine. Take it off, you coward. It's either that or lose the items. But yeah, thank you, Thomas. You're a cool guy. She is, this person here, you can tell it's a girl because of the hair. Um, she's leveling up with the maiden. We can't do that yet. So let's go do this. Um, Baldwin doesn't really have any story progression to worry about, so we're uh, not going to care. Yeah, if we fell, we would take maybe half-life. If we fell onto those bottom stairs, we'd die. But you have to really try. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Okay, yeah, that was intentional. What a way to go. Heroes, am I right? Ah. World tendency and character tendency is such a fucking cool idea. I hope they can figure out a way to bring him back in some capacity and make him better. You see that candle? They're the one we have to talk about. Let's uh, talk to. Let's walk past all these dead children looking things. Known as the Monumentals. So, there's nothing down this side, unfortunately. There is, however, an item over that side. Rest in peace, dude. I'm talking to the Phantom, not these guys. Alright, let's run. Fuck it, this is getting long. We're almost hitting an hour and a half. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. I don't think we have any of those yet. Do, 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 do. I missed them, didn't I? Fucking goddammit. So, Resurrect uses body. An eye stone, which is deteriorated um, more than halfway, resurrects the user's body. Can only be used when in soul form. Once it is used, it crumbles away and is lost. This is an ember from Dark Souls 3. And to a lesser extent, um... Actually, no, no. What am I saying? Ember gives you more health. This is effectively the human effigy from Dark Souls 2. Also, yeah, obviously humanity from Dark Souls 1. You don't, uh... You don't get a full heal, though. When that happens. But yeah. Item. Yes. Actually, yeah, that's a, that's a fair point. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too... A scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to his slumber, yet only after the loss of innumerable souls and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious arch stones. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest worshipping shadowmen, and the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across.
across the earth. We contained the Old One inside this Nexus, and banned the Soul Arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. So now we can go to any level we want. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? You say yes 100% of the time. Yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. So, a few things to talk about. Let's just quickly we neutralize have a the old one. Oh, Jesus and Christ. Ban the soul arts. Then, we spread the archstones, and in order to mend reality, monumentals we became. However, man's memory of history is o'er short, and before long, he repeated his mistakes. The monumentals perished, and the archstones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again aroused the old one. All right, anything else before I talk? The monumentals perished, and the archstone, and the short-sighted... Yeah, we just... Okay, cool. So, a few things to quickly mention. Okay, we spoke to the monumental. Cool. We never need to come back here except for if I want to do one little thing later. Oh, while we're here, we'll head up. So, all the archstones are unlocked. We can go wherever the fuck we want. The, the maiden in black downstairs we'll be able to level us up now. So that's sick. Hmm. What's this? This is a weird place I wasn't going to talk about immediately. Could we see it through the fucking wall? Is that what happened? Yeah, there's some weird shit like that. I was making fun of that in Zelda. So. Huh. I just happened to click number one. Okay, no you can't. So, these characters, the people who played. Yep. Oh cool, you can actually see the characters, I didn't realize that, I backed out too soon. So that's the set I was talking about. Yeah, if you're uh, thinking it, yep, that's Gundir from Dark Souls 3, alright. That's the Ancient King set. Yeah. This kind of stuff's... A little pointless, but it's still pretty cool. So she's using the bind across it, and she's got the Uchi, the katana. That's the silver armor. That's the dragon bone smasher. It's got the shield Ostrava had. Yeah. Shaman set. Cool. Yep. Anyway, that's enough of that. This is a weird place, and something they never brought back. It shows you players who have, well yeah, obtained the most souls. And have had like, PvP wins, and etc etc, and have felt with co-op. So that's pretty rad. We're just here for the eyes. How about you dude? Yeah. He's got a cool sword, that last one, the blue blood sword. It's a very weird one. It's pretty much like Artorius' Greatsword from Dark Souls 1, where it scales with everything. Which I think is pretty cool as a weapon. I'm pretty sure there's nothing here, but yeah, okay, cool. So, reason you have to say yes to the mon Monumental is, if saying no will block you from getting a ring. I don't think I'm going to get it this playthrough, because that involves co-op. But you kind of want to say yes, just in case. 
What's it? So Uniters of the World. Records at time of game completion. Wait. 37. So is that like how long they actually took to beat the game? No, that can't be. That's not consistent. Oh, well, don't worry about that shit. This is a weird thing they never brought back. I missed the fucking door, didn't I? No, I didn't. Wait, yes. Oh, fucking Christ, I'm trapped. What the hell's going on? Help. Okay, no, I didn't. Oh. So, yeah, um, you get the friend ring from the monumental if you achieve what is known as pure white character tendency. So, in the middle. Um, the more you kill black phantoms, which only appear in pure black, um, the higher your character tendency goes. The more you kill NPCs, the higher your, or the closer to black your character tendency goes. I'm getting the fuck out of here, holy shit. Oh, there, there we go. Um, and from a different, um, character, who is known as Mephistopheles, pretty cool, eh? Um, you'll get the faux ring. Yeah, it's the faux ring, I'm positive. So that, um... Basically, friend ring, better for co-op. Um, faux ring, better for if you're hunting down other players. Anyway, we're almost done here. Let's just have a quick look around. Hmm. Does he? Huh. That's weird. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's weird. It's not like, it's not like fucking DS2 with the moth, is it? Uh. No. Hmm. That, that's bizarre. I don't know. Maybe it's just an act. Maybe that's what they're doing. Yeah. They're probably just acting. Yeah, that's probably what's going on. Who knows? Anyway. We'll f I'm sure we'll figure that out by the end of VLP. I know most of this game, but I'm interested to see some of the bits I've missed. Darkness imprisoning me. All that I can see. Are you here to face the demons? If so, please free Sage Freak the Visionary from the Dungeon of Latria. I will help you however I can. I can teach you elementary spells. Sage Freak is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have not the power to save him alone. Freak's Apprentice. So I was going to end here, but fuck it. Um, there's this guy to talk to and there's one more, and then I guess we'll be done. I'll work out what the fuck I'm doing with my weaponry and all that. And where are we going next? Um, so, Soul Arrow, it's what you think. It's the one from Dark Souls. Flame Toss, it's Fireball from Dark Souls. Um, enchant Weapon. Magic Weapon, effectively. Um, it's pretty good. There's some better, there's two not um, notable buffs that are better than this, but this is pretty decent. Protection. Uh, yeah, slightly better damage, has um, slightly better absorption, resistance. Oh, so you'll notice down the bottom, there's that red orb, and it'll have the MP cost. Um, as you can see, they're all one, which means one attunement slot. Um, when we free Sage Frake, using boss souls and just his general spells, you'll see some take up two. I think some even take up three. I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure that is the case. Um, yeah, positive. Cloak, this is better than the Feast Ring, so, you know, 10 MP. Right now, we can do that seven times in a level, so that's pretty rad. We don't have a Catalyst, though, so that's no good to us. Water Veil, better fire resistance is what I was talking about at the start of this. And holy shit, you can hear my voices going, so i got to finish this quick. Demon's Prank, only four. Um, pretty alright. It's the, um, it's an alluring skull, it's, um, oh, what the fuck's it called in, um, damn it, what's it called, um, I can't remember the spell in Dark Souls, why am I forgetting, it's Yearning 2, it's the one that Lua's in, so, another thing, because there's no bonfires, you have to come to him, Frake, or the Miracle guys on the other side, to remember Frake spell. Is a great sage who systemized the magic of the soul arts. To make it possible for human imitation. 
By observing the state of Boletaria and the demons within it, he's likely to pave the way for greater things. All the more reason that I must meet Frake as soon as possible. All the more reason. So you're seeing a different. I see. Please. Just ensure that you oh. rescue Sage Sorry, Frake whatever. as quickly as possible. So you will. This is where Frake will hang out. Kind of inconvenient because you can come off the steps and fucking Mario stomp him on the head by accident. And some NPCs aggro very aggressively. Like um. Someone who hangs out around here. Best girl, by the way. We'll find her soon. That's a fucking lie. That's gonna take a bit. Um, you will see a very obvious comparison to Logan and Griggs of Vinheim from Dark Souls 1. Um, Orbeck is kind of just them rolled into one. I guess Carillion as well. Carillion from DS2 and Rosabeth are pretty close. But, you know. Yeah, we haven't even met Freak yet, so... Back in the time that I lived below Boletaria Castle, King Aland left on some strange business, then returned with horrible demons in tow. Soon, the land was ravaged by demons and soul-starved madmen. My spine shudders just to think about it. If I did not have my miracle stone shard, a keepsake of my grandfather, I may not have survived. Uh, just so anyone, for anyone that doesn't know, I'm turning around, just in case the Dual Shock Four decides to swing. If I did not have, because I don't want to hurt anyone. So this is the Miracle Corner. This is the uh, little God Worshipper, the Happy Clappers over here. I don't know. They're not Hill Song, so they're fine in my book. I have sinned. I swore allegiance to Saint Abain, but was of no use to him. And now I have run away and abandoned his honourableness. Tell me more. Oh Lord, punish me. For I have not the strength to punish myself. Oh honorable wonder, I hesitate to imagine your present state. Deep within the darkness, where no light shall ever shine. Will you continue to pray? Even in such misery? Oh yeah, he's praying alright. Urbane is fucking praying. He ain't doing much else, oh, that's for sure. Deep within. Will you... <sighs> Damn, I was hoping you'd mention some more details about what what's going on with Urbane. I was getting ready to fucking cheer and maybe slash him by accident. Oh, you must be another disciple of God. Yeah. I too sure. am on a quest to fight the demons in the name of the Lord. Mm. May I uh, share yeah. God's power with you? Do not be bashful. We are both cut from the same cloth. Um, don't know about that, mate. Um, can't say I'm a... I'm a worshipper. Again, kind of like what I was talking about with armor. As you can see, holy shit, look at how expensive this crap is. So heal is your Dark Souls heal. So down the bottom you'll see MP cost again. So, um... I should have explained. Intelligence is, as I said, um attunement i was just kind of inferring spell slots it's also your mp bar so even as a cleric you want more intelligence which isn't inherently bad because there's a lot of good utility spells like i was saying earlier um so antidote you know it's caressing tears from two and three i i don't think there's a status one in dark souls one is there no i know it's from two and it's in three Evacuate is um, Homeward in Dark Souls. Um, it's a reusable Homeward Bone. Um, Shard of Archstone. Hidden Soul. Alright, so we get Cloak from the other guys. Hidden Soul, and this is what I was going to talk about eventually anyway. The Thief Ring works on NPCs. Black Phantoms, on the other hand, which are the invaders, and um, the occasional enemies that will show up in pure black, um, this is what you use to hide from them. Or you get the Grave Robber's Ring, which we can get pretty soon if I rush it. So yeah, it's all different. It's hidden body for both situations, basically. A miracle is a heavenly act, but spells are the acts of demons, the work of soul arts. They have similar effects, 
And yet, one is clearly evil, and the other is clearly good. Magicians, in the end, are mere servants of the demons. All right, you got anything else? A miracle is a heavenly Okay, magic. so I was going to mention this anyway. So you wish to train yourself in stoicism? Very well. I pray we meet again. Okay. Well, I should also just mention this is this is not what I was going to say, but oh, do they fucking oh you idiots? Oh why why did you oh wait for it? I know exactly what killed you. Eat shit. <laughs> oh, that's fucking beautiful. So, um, I wasn't going to mention it, but a few things to talk about real quick. First of all, any of these guys, you aggro one, you aggro them all. Including St. Urbane when he comes back. Um, weirdly enough, I think over in the other corner, if you aggro Frake or his apprentice, the other one does not help. Either that or Frake doesn't help if you hurt the apprentice. Um, so... You might be familiar with a miracle called Wrath of the Gods. Um, that came from this game. Guess what happened to this guy? This girl. Hmm. You don't fuck with the clerics. So, like I was saying for, um, Freak's Apprentice, we don't have a catalyst. We don't have a talisman of God. So we can't cast miracles or spells. Now, we'll talk to you and level up in a sec. Let's just quickly go through this shit. We can keep going to the second boss. Pretty cool. Tower Knight. Awesome. Awesome, awesome boss. Um, each world is kind of focused. Each world is pretty good for a different style of character. I guess this is a very generalist kind of um, melee character. You'd want to go here first. I'm being very generalistic here. Just keep in mind. Latria has a lot of good stuff for spellcasters, but we'll probably pop in here very quickly too. You don't count. Um, this one I'm less sure about. You can get... There's, this is where the Grave Robber's Ring is. You can get some bows here pretty early. There's a Curved Sword that's infused with magic. I ain't using that because that's fucking easy mode. But it's got some cool shit. There is a lot of faith-based shit over here. Oh, by the way, we should go through this. Yeah, Valley of Defilement. If you've heard that name, yes, it's as bad as you've heard. Shri Shrine of Storms. Pretty cool. Tower of Latria I've already mentioned. That's the place they did that music for. The, um, well, I recorded the ambiance. And, yeah, Stone Pang Tunnel. And yes, that is meant to... Leningrass from DS2 is meant to be that guy. Man, if you don't get all these Dark Souls references, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to keep making this whole game because everything comes back to this game. Alright. Now, fuck. I've been going 20 minutes longer than I was going to. Brave soul Holy shit, I'm getting six dead. episodes out of this one fucking session. Lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. Alright, cool. More shit to look at. Okay. Okay. One thing I was going to quickly mention. We'll go back over here because it's topical. So. You will note that the Monumental was talking about the soul arts being sealed away. Um. I think it was mentioned. And even then, this isn't that much of a spoiler. It stated that magic came back to the world. Why are you turning? That's weird. Um, this magic came back to the world when the old one started to wake up and demons started reappearing. Which is the same time as Miracle's coming back, so, you know. Kind of weird. Pretty coincidental, isn't it? What Magic is it? as a whole just came back when the old Does one woke up. Soul power? You can say no, doesn't matter, because you always get the chance to... Yeah, it, it'd be kind of mean if they locked you out of leveling altogether. So be it. After all... Thou requirest strength. Go forth. Touch the demon inside me. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. Alrighty. Let's do this. I'm gonna be shut I'm gonna shut up so you can hear this. Soul of the 
mind key to life's ether. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. So that's that little rhyme everyone refers to. And now you will see the most ghetto stat screen in this entire franchise. <laughs> I, you know, assuming you count this along with Dark Souls. Alright, so. Vitality. That's our health. We get a little more HP. Item burden goes up by 2. Our defense goes up. Intelligence will also raise defense. Physical defense. Um, spell memory, you'll notice. Oh, we're not gaining any other attunement slots. But that doesn't really affect us too much. You will get a bit more mana. 8 points, in fact. Um, endurance. So, yeah. All these stats. All the physical stats. Well, you know, with intelligence. All will bump up your physical defense. By a tiny bit. Endurance is as godlike as it is in Dark Souls 1. Just a little more subdued. Because, um... Well, armor's not as broken. Armor's not as useful in this game. The heavier armor isn't as nearly as good as, good as it is in Dark Souls 1. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't say it's DS3 levels of what's the point. I mean, and even in DS3, armor has a fucking point. It's just less pronounced. Um... I guess it's closer to two in a way, but that doesn't feel apt at all. But um, yeah, stamina, equip burden, defense, fire defense as well, bleed defense, oh, sorry, bleed resistance, and poison resistance. Endurance is important, so we're going to get one level of this right now. Strength, well I want a few levels of this anyway to one hand the bastard. <laughs> so let's just do this. You'll notice the cost is going up bit by bit. Um... It's not as sharp as some of the level spikes in, say, 3, when you need a lot more souls to level up. But there's just a lot less you get from levels. So, you know. Dexterity. Safer landing. So, I think it's 15 or 16. You hit that, you start to take less full damage. We are going to level dex just so I can show other, other um, weapons and such. Giant dad memes don't really have a place here, I'm sorry. We, we got to level dex enough to show some cool shit. Magic power, so... As you can see, it'll go up by 100, so that's our damage. Physical defense as well. Okay, so yeah, so physical defense is raised by everything. I forgot, yeah. You know, no, it is. It's just magic defense will go up with... Where is magic defense? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Miracles, of course. So, miracle power, miracle memories... So that's attunement from miracles, physical defense, and magic defense. Luck. See, luck at least does this. Your drop rate's pretty handy. Your physical defense at least goes up, and plague resistance, which isn't a lot, but it's something. So automatically, it's already more useful than Dark Souls 3 luck. <sighs> I don't get it. I don't get why they didn't fix luck in 3. They had... They must have known it was going to be so useless for most builds. So let's just level up some health. I want to get to 14 because that's a nice number. Endurance, it's... What? <laughs> Intelligence, magic and faith really don't matter right now. We're not super handy. We're not going to really get any benefit out of decks for the meantime. So let's just check our ratios and shit. Okay, let's have a look here. Whoop, wrong thing. So... I have the Ring of Herculean Strength on, which is what's going to allow me to light roll. Getting light armor would be sick. Take it off, no dice. I'm probably going to stay in body form because it's pretty easy to just come in here with the Dual Shock 3 and um, place some signs, uh, some fucking shit down, some messages. I've got to check those stones as well, sorry. There's so much to fucking talk about this game, way more than Bloodborne in fact. Because Bloodborne's way more streamlined. I the and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave... Okay, yeah, that's the same thing. So, um... I shall await thine return. Not really a spoiler, but I might as well mention. She herself counts as a demon. As you can see, demon doesn't necessarily imply inherently bad. It's not also quite Dark Souls demons where... They're just kind of 
their own race created by like the chaos flame but demons are just things created by all this soul bullshittery effectively so let's just level up um a little more endurance we can only get one more level so there we go all right now kind of sucks because we don't if we we're a female we'd have more armor to choose from um given everything i'll just grab some armor out here fuck it take item we'll take the helmet all right cool thanks you have a heart of gold there you go what a chad so yeah we can at least one hand this now pretty cool yeah there's going to be a lot of move set shit so if you don't like that i'm sorry cool chop because some moves it's weird some move sets never came back there's some attacks that just never never show up in other games it's weird so yeah this is a cool thing too these are the seals but um each of the art stones uh well yeah helping to create the old one lives down there once we do all that shit at the very end of the game we can head down there and go have a jolly old fight all right well i think that's it other than looking at this shit i won't look at the souls you really don't need to see that okay proof were accepted by the monumental when you die and enter soul form, use this to send a sign. So this is your white soapstone. Uh huh. This is the um, what's it called? Ah, oh, fuck! Why am I getting the um black stone? Whatever the hell. This is what you use to send um, people back to their own worlds. So you know. You can also yeah. So this is also your way to get out of worlds too. Oh well, so that's it. Um, this is long. I've got effectively six to four to six episodes out of this whole fucking thing so far. Man, that's the pro of like actually planning this out and not just like posting a recording session a day and killing myself from too much Zelda. Right, well, this is Demon Souls. I'm going to be doing like a session a week effectively and then uploading it over the course of like however many days until I run out. And then the cycle will repeat. So, yeah is recorded on the 4th i'm imagining it's gonna start being uploaded maybe the monday so in like three days anyway that's that i've talked way too much i'm gonna talk a fuck ton during this lp i noticed that's a good thing because fucking watching adam barker fight those uh, streamers as mr x and such boy that shit makes me feel better about my content because i have shit to talk about <laughs> anyway that's enough of that um that's a sick ass statue um, yeah. Demon Souls, fuck yeah. Um, don't worry, I have shit to talk about the remake. I'm sure everyone's excited about opinion, my opinions on that. Huh. Oh, an NPC hangs out here pretty, um, well, not pretty soon. We have to find him. He's quite a helpful one. You know him well. I'm excited to get him. I've got a shirt with him on it. Anyway. Oh yeah, and Astrava will hang out here sometimes. This place gets very full eventually. But anyway, that's enough of that crap. Um. Oh shit. Wait, what? Hold the fuck on. What are you. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I did. What? It works? And on that bombshell, I'm gonna go punch the producer because I'm Jeremy Clarkson. Um, that's in bad taste. Also, yeah, in soul form, you make noise. Oh, sorry, in human form. In soul form, you don't. So I had to off myself when I recorded that Latria video. Holy fuck, this is a shit outro, I'm sorry. Alright, well, bye, see you later, fuck yeah. Demon Souls. Oh, oh.